Oh, the turtles kind of took off, but look, they left their eggs. Now, I have to be careful. The zombies will want to come and like stomp them, uh, but I want them. I now have four turtle eggs. Oh my gosh. So that's the first egg that you can actually get in, well, that, they, there's chicken eggs, of course, but um, in survival, in vanilla, these are kind of like spawn eggs. I mean, I know they're not the same, but very cool. There's more fishies out there. Let's go get them. And this is a Moorish Idol, which I think I already have several of those. So we only really need two of each. Goatfish. I have like three goatfish. Stripey, Black Tang, Moorish Idol, Moorish Idol. Okay, so I already have two of those. So we can we can release these, right? Look at that. And then get more water. And then release that. Blop, and get more water. Very cool. Okay, so I'm going to go... I see a couple things out here that look like they might be underwater structures. Let's see if I can go out and get them without drowning. There was one right there. Oh, hello. I lost you. Oh, there's another shipwreck right here. And it's on its side. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so let us figure out how to get into this thing. And get our axe on the bar. Let the chest generate. Another treasure map. Okay. And, oh, more poison potatoes. I could use the coal. I'm out of torches. Oh, Curse of Vanishing Leather Boots. So attractive. All right, let's get out of here before we drown. Okay, so there was one of them. This structure looks suspicious to me, too. But that could just be coral. But it looks like coral growing up around something. No, it's just coral. Okay. Very nice. So according to the wiki, uh, the turtles should be able to spawn on regular, uh, regular beaches. So, uh, my, my whole coming all the way out here to get turtle eggs, looks like it wasn't entirely necessary. Um, hey buddy. Hi. You had a friend I saw. Hmm. Okay. That's fine. We'll hang on to this for now. I like you, so I'm going to give you some hearts. So, we should be able to get turtles back at home, which is good. Um, sun's just coming up. So, here's what we're going to do. Home is a long ways that way. We are going to take a look at this buried treasure map. And see what it shows us. Hmm. So we need to go southwest, which is west, southwest, which is that direction. Okay. Um, let us get, I have some tropical fish, poison potatoes. 
potatoes. I I have some I have some more wood in here. I picked up all my shulker boxes. Um, charcoal planks that should work right. So we're gonna make planks out of everything, and we're gonna make ourselves a boat. Very good. And pick that up and put it away. So we're going to go this direction. Oh, hello, Mr. Turtle. Why are you swimming away? I have the seagrass. Uh, okay. Hi. All right. So we are going to put down this boat. We're going to put this in our offhand. And we are going to sail. Oh, wait. Let me take a screenshot of this. Just so we can come back here if we need to. Hi, Mr. Turtle. Oh, lots of squiddies. Oh, goodness. So the uh, the regular fishies can impede the progress of your boat, which is interesting. Uh, certainly before like squids and stuff could, but I don't think the tropical, I don't think the fish swimming around, I didn't think they would be able to. Okay, now we need to turn, oops, not that quite that far. So this little island is the one we're approaching so island on the map is the one we're approaching now. So we need to sail around it. And yep, the the treasure is on that island there. And it looks like it's on this point right here. That's unusual looking, isn't it? I don't think, I don't think that it's an ocean monument. Huh. Okay. So according to this, it's down here. I think these maps would get a little bit more accurate. Like, it would be nice if once you got close to them, they would zoom in or something. Let's put it in my regular hand. See. It's like I'm facing it right there. Softly destructive. But it's over here somewhere. In theory, supposedly. You shouldn't really have to dig much more than sand, I would think, to be able to get at the buried treasure. Because it's not going to be under, like, sandstone, because that's a different type of digging, right? Oh, goodness. Oh. Hmm. 
I don't know. Oh my gosh. Here it is. Oh, that's just insane. I'll take the iron, thank you. And the heart of the sea. I'll take one of those. Um, sure, I'll take the gold. Goodness gracious. And let's get out of here. Um, this is how far off the shoreline that uh, the map had me go. Goodness gracious. I just decimated this little area here. And I should be a little bit careful because... Um, oh, because I need to get rid of some stuff in order to get my boat. I should get out of here. There we go. Okay, now out here we have to worry a little bit about... About drowned. Goodness, I just totally messed up that shoreline. Oh. Um, okay, let's look at, let's get rid of that. I don't need that. Buried measure trap. Buried measure tr map. Goodness gracious. Okay, so I want to roughly head back where I came from. Oh, that's the other island on the map. Here's my coral area. Okay, so that wasn't too far away. So hopefully, when you open up one of those maps, it sort of directs you to a nearby buried treasure. And uh, I don't know if there's going to be any of those anywhere near home. It's the only problem. Oh, the coral reef is so pretty. Goodness gracious. Okay, well, anyway. So that is, I think, the new features... For the most part. So I have the heart of the sea. I will need to get one of those Nautilus shell things, I think. No, I need to turn around this way. What is that over there? It's just a piece of island. So I need the heart of the sea and I need like a Nautilus shell thing. I don't remember what's... Oh, steer clear of that there. Um, and I need some other stuff stuff um turn this way put this in my off hand I guess yeah uh some other miscellaneous stuff in order to uh to build a Underwater beacon, whatever they call them, conduit. This is my little island here. I've got a bed on there so I can go to sleep, get rid of this night, and then I can make my way back towards home. Very nice. Very good. Well, anyway, that was a probably, this, I've been recording for a long time here. Um, and obviously I'll edit this down into, into something shorter, but, um, there we go. That, so we have updated the server to 1.13. It's very exciting. And, um, we shall see what else we can get into. And we have to, I need to go through and fix some stuff and, and all that, um, fix some of the, farms and whatnot that don't work correctly any longer um, so I need to go do that and I need to check out other areas and clean up and go preload things like the Guardian Farm and the amusement park and whatnot but I think we're we're good I think we've, we've updated and we are good to go so that is that. Thank you very much for watching. This is Theron. It's been the Minecraft Land Party, and I will see you next time. Right? Bye.